Okay, so this is a video by Skate BTW, the story of L Splash, the dead behind Roblox stories. Let's check it out. Here we go. Three billion visits. Yeah. A number that many developers dream of achieving even one tenth of. Brought forth in a game that has completely redefined the entire horror genre on For Roblox. For sure. I think it's the best horror game on Roblox, period. Inspiring numerous remakes and going viral across the internet almost immediately, this game has quickly catapulted to the top of Roblox after being released not even a year ago. I think it was also the second fastest game to hit a billion visits behind Piggy which is cool. This is the story of L Splash, the okay. man behind the hit game Doors. But before we delve into the world of terrifying eldritch creatures that were shown to us in Doors, we must first explore where it all began. Starting his career in around 2015, L Splash worked on a few miscellaneous projects, most notably developing under the user Bonic 10 for wow, his game. Wow, okay, I didn't Movie know Maker that. 3. In Movie Maker 3, you could create your own short films using the carefully crafted animation and recording system. I'm not sure to what extent L Splash worked on this one, as the game's description is rather vague. It just mentions him as a a GUI designer. That's actually developer. really cool. I don't know how much of the development he actually did. I've but never what I seen do that. Know is that it's safe to say that this game was exceptionally ahead of its time. I mean, just look at this animation system and keep in mind this was made in 2015. Wow. Like, this is absolutely insane. L Splash, known as Lightning Splash to some, was quite a talented developer. I actually didn't know what L Splash stood for until like a week ago, so a little bit late on that one. Doing jobs behind the scenes for a few years before finally beginning his own projects in 2017. In fact, his earliest tweets display his coding practice creating various UI systems and sharing sneak peeks of what would become his first successful game. L Splash eventually teamed up with his friend and development partner Redables to create their game studio, which they also decided to call L Splash for some reason. It kind of makes it a little bit confusing that the that, group and developer that's why I was both confused. Yeah. same thing, but they obviously know yeah. what they're doing when it comes to creating games, so I digress. L Splash has been so successful that his group is actually the fourth biggest on the platform. I didn't well. know that. And don't get me wrong, Redables is extremely talented too, but this video is just on L Splash, so I won't be talking much about him in this one. <laughs> now, it was okay. time for L Splash to release his first game, and he most certainly would not disappoint. Ragdoll Mayhem, now known as Ragdoll Universe, was a fun I didn't know they made game this that combined game. the traditional ragdoll mechanics many love with a new fresh take on the shooter genre. The main menu GUI is super polished, and overall this game just feels so well made. And wow, I mean, look okay. at this cute little guy, you can even make him dance. The game has a ton of different weapons, and the gameplay is actually super Dude, fun. Dude, I had but no idea they the made this no game. The game receives regular updates because, you know, the dev team kind of has their hands full with doors. Yeah. Yeah. L Splash learned a ton from the development of this game, knowledge that he would eventually carry on to his next release, Vocab Havoc. Vocab Havoc was an attempt to draw on the hype of the viral game Wordle, bringing I didn't know they made this either. What in the world? The already loved word game. However, this game would go on to reach limited success, inevitably spiraling into irrelevance quite quickly. I personally think that the yeah. game was pretty fun, but there must have been some issues or unfixed bugs that went unanswered behind the scenes, as the like ratio on this game is particularly disappointing. One thing that's pretty cool about this game is that L Splash actually took the coin sound when you win at the end of every round and implemented it indoors whenever you pick up a coin, as you can see here. Now, after oh, these interesting. releases, okay. L Splash brought us the game that is indisputably his most popular title to date. Doors released on August 10th, 2022, and the game's rise to fame was almost meteoric. It seemed as though every day you came back, Doors player count seemed to be multiplying, and its daily visits were going absolutely through the roof. In fact, after not even being out for a day, the game Actually, I want to pause. I want to show you guys something pretty crazy. So right here is the Rallybons page for Roblox Doors, and right here you can actually see the concurrent players over time. It came out, it shot straight up, really popular. The new update came out. This was the Hotel Plus update. Shot straight up again. Kind of tapered off a little bit. Hasn't really been too much going on. This was the April 1st update. So yeah, imagine what it's going to look like whenever floor two comes out. Anyway, back to the video. Pretty reached over 250,000 plays. It was safe to say that this game was going to be one of the most popular games the platform had seen to date. Oh yeah. And Doors went on to prove this, amassing over 300 million plays in just one month after release. That's good. At the game's release, Doors was quite a bit smaller than today's game. There were only 100 doors and one floor. No back rooms, nothing. Nevertheless, the fun new game attracted numerous content creators, including Creek, hey, Funkus, that's me. Andy, and more. The biggest names in Roblox content creation were all coming together and hopping on the trend, and it was beginning to look like the sky was the limit. It was, it was a lot like Pig. Everyone just kind of played Piggy when it came out. Same thing with Doors. Everyone's just kind of playing Doors. With the release of Doors, L Splash brought us 14 entities, six items, and even six completely original soundtracks. Yeah. One thing that I think is pretty cool about this game is that L Splash actually composed and created all of the music. I did not know that. That's actually really cool. I thought they bought the music from some, you know, some other place. I, I guess not. Found in the game himself. And as you probably wow. already know, because I've been using them for much of this video, they're actually all copyright free. I know. That's great. That's great the best. 
most part. But all it took was one bad actor with the potential to completely crumble everything L Splash had built. And as I said, L Splash's intent was for the music he made to be completely copyright free. But yeah. back in September, just a month after the game released, someone actually uploaded the Doors soundtrack on Spotify and was using that leverage to copyright claim a bunch of YouTubers in various videos. Yeah, around. basically someone stole the music, claimed that it was their music, and there was copyright striking a bunch of YouTubers because of the music. I had a bunch of issues with it myself. It was really annoying, but it, it got soft. We're good. It ended up being resolved rather quickly, but it was still rather annoying for creators who wanted to upload content and they were struck with copyright claims right away. Yeah. But hey, I'm just happy it's all resolved now because I can use the soundtracks in this video. L Splash now had his hands on what could allow him to retire young. So the talented dev was determined to play his cards right too and young, make the hopefully. hype last. His first few updates consisted of various bug fixes, adding redeemable codes to the game and creating various UGC products. L Splash's intent was to further solidify the strong base of the game before moving on to more risky, expansive updates. After all, it's much better to iron out bugs and other unintended features early rather sure. than having to deal with it all at once later on. Within this time period, Doors was actually the second fastest game on the entire platform. I already mentioned it, but visits, yeah, there it is. It in only 94 days. Doors went on to grow exponentially. I think it was actually only one day after Piggy. So Piggy, I think, took like 92, 93. Doors took 94. Month over month. With the game's first major update expected to release in late 2022. However, due to unforeseen circumstances and L Splash not wanting to release an unfinished, unpolished game, Got delayed. the update was inevitably delayed to January 28th, My 2023. Birthday. L Splash took to Twitter to explain the delays, citing that the game was actually growing so fast that they didn't have the proper legal framework in place and that the delays were a result of balancing that between developers. What they meant by that is a lot of people were stealing assets from the game and then making their own like Doors clones games and they, they, they've been taking those down. So that's what they meant by legal framework. Players were getting frustrated waiting so long for new content, but in the end, L Splash did not disappoint. Dubbed the Hotel Plus update, this release brought us a ton of content, bringing 10 new entities, five new items, achievements, and even a shop that appears midway through the run. Yeah. Although my favorite part of this update was quite obviously Elgo Of course. Amidst all these crazy additions, there was one that overshadowed them all. Dubbed an Easter egg of sorts, <laughs> this update also brought 1,000 more floors to explore, found in a place called The Rooms. This back rooms-esque area was an instant hit, causing many players to try it out in pursuit of the new achievements. Ooh. However, this is widely considered one of the most rage-inducing areas of the game. It took me two and a half hours. Run for 100 plus floors with absolutely nothing happening, just to die because Rush randomly decides to appear and you can't hear his audio. Yeah. Overall, this update revitalized Doors as a whole and was important in restating that Doors was in fact here for the long run. Looking to the future, one contributor to Doors mentioned that the hotel update would actually be the last major update to the first floor of the hotel. Oh, that scared me for a second. This hoping that the next big I thought he was going to say last major update, period. I, I panic mode. ...would be a brand new floor. However, L Splash and the devs had other plans, releasing the super hard mode update on April Fool's 2023. Released as an obvious April Fool's gag, this update was actually pretty substantial. It added a variety of entities, including the terrifying creepypasta, Jeff the Killer. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but just look into this man's eyes. He is absolutely terrifying. I would not want to be caught in a room alone with this guy. This mode did exactly- I actually think the April Fool's update was a little bit more fun for me than the, <laughs> than the Hotel Plus update. It was you know, lots, of, lots of new stuff and very rage inducing too. It's good to watch on stream. Exactly what the name entails. It made your Doors experience absolutely miserable. But nevertheless, yeah. many badge hunters set out to complete this awful challenge. My favorite part of the update was definitely the new Screech audio. Oh, yeah. The devs actually replaced it with a sped up version of the Why Are You Running meme. <laughs> Why are you running? I didn't know that's where that was from, actually. Absolutely everywhere that you could slip on. And I think that they most definitely completely achieved their goal of making players' lives absolutely miserable. 100%. Or at least they made my life miserable. Let me know what you guys think. The event only lasted for a week, eventually being reverted to the pre-April Fool's patch. But for Doors' first proper event, I think that L Splash did an absolutely fantastic job. Overall, L Splash has consistently proven that he is here to stay in the Roblox developer community. I think it's absolutely crazy that this guy has come out of effectively nowhere and had such a massive game blow up virtually overnight. Comparing with horror literally. games, it's literally only second to Piggy in terms of how fast the games grew. I, L Splash yeah. has managed to succeed where other horror games on the platform lack, optimizing doors for replayability to keep players coming back. And I think the reason is, number one, like he said, the replayability, but also number two, it's not really that scary. Like, you know, a kid could easily play the game and not be like terrified out of their mind compared to something like the Mimic, where it's just like full blown terror, you know? So I think that plays a really big role. Pretty crazy when you compare this guy to some other devs in the community, because 
because most had to release quite a few games before they had their first viral hit. However, L Splash did it in just a few tries. In my eyes, this puts L Splash up there with the likes of developers such as Minitoon. Considering the sheer impact he has had in such a short time on the platform, I think his success is completely deserved. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments. I do have one problem, Mr. Uh, Mr. Skate BTW. Look, I love this video. This video is great. I want you guys to go subscribe to him. But wh wh why do you only have five deaths? Why do you only have the welcome achievement? What's going on here, man? We got to get you stepping up. You barely played the game. I I'm calling you out, Skate BTW. I expect a speed run on my desk by in the morning. But okay, no, actually, I I'll have a link to his channel down below. Go subscribe to him. This was awesome. Please make more videos like this. You're great at it. I love it. Go check him out.